All right, here is another performance task for grade six. This is um, going to be using a card game format. For this particular task, you're going to use probability in the context of picking cards uh, numbered one to ten. You're going to need to think about a changing sample space, and you'll see this as we go, because some cards are not going to be available any longer after they have been drawn. All right? So what you want to do, and it says here successful students could give a numerical value for each probability, and you are successful, so that's exactly what we're going to do. All right, let's get moving. Okay, so this is a card game, and the problem gives you a chance to figure out and explain probabilities. So let's take a look. Mrs. Jakeman is teaching her class about probability. She has 10 cards numbered 1 to 10. She mixes them up and stands them on a shelf so that the numbers do not show. And that's what this picture represents. Mrs. Jakeman turns the cards around one at a time. Students have to guess whether the next card will have a higher or lower number than the one just turned. Mrs. Jakeman then turned the first card and that first number is 3. So your task is to find out if the next number is going to be higher than 3 or lower and then try to explain why you think that. All right, so let's see what we can do. At this point, we, we don't really have um, an operation. I don't know if we're supposed to add, subtract, multiply, divide yet, um, but we do have to choose a strategy. And since this is in picture form, we're going to go ahead and choose picture form as a strategy. So we're going to go ahead and say if she has 10 cards, which it says right here, we're going to say 1. Uh, let me use a different color. I don't like that. Let me go ahead and use this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There we go. All right. So the very first number, the very first card that's turned is a 3. So there it is right there. And so I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to now cross out this 3. So now I'm looking, and I'm just kind of eyeballing it, saying, all right, well, there are only two cards less than three, but there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards greater than three. So chances are that um, the next number is going to be a higher number. All right? So we're going to say it's going to be higher because we can see right there, there's just more after. Okay? So explain why we made the decision. Um, we wrote the numbers down. And saw that there were more numbers greater than 3. Okay? That makes sense. So now, the second card is 10, and you can see that right here. Well, okay. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go up here and we're going to cross out 10. So we've crossed out 3 and now we've crossed out 10. So let's see, what are they asking? Um, what is the probability that the next card will be higher than the number 10 and explain how you know? Well, what are the odds? What's the probability? There are no higher numbers than 10. There is no chance that the next number can be anything higher than 10. So here we go, zero, el zippo. Okay, not a zilch. I like that. Okay, so there is no, how do we know there are no number cards higher than? 10. Yeah, that was easy. 
Okay, let's go ahead and move on. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and redraw our numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then what we're going to go ahead and do is cross out the three and the ten and take a look at number three. It says, what is the probability that the next number is higher than four? Because here's the four. So we're going to cross out the four. So what is the probability? So on this particular one, they actually want you to give an actual probability. All right, so let's go ahead and think this through. Okay. Um, hmm. On here, we have one, two, two numbers that are lower, that are left, that are lower than four. We have one, two, three, four, five that are greater than the four. Okay? So, altogether, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that is the denominator. That's how many we have. And out of those, it's one, two, three, four, five chances out of seven that the num next number is going to be higher. Okay? Five chances out of seven. That is the probability. Five chances out of seven possibilities that the next number will be higher than 4. And we can see that with our own eyes. So the strategy we did, we're still, in a sense, drawing a picture, and we're following the picture. Um, yeah. And if you wanted to do that in percentage, um, you would do, let me see if I can fit it in over here. There's seven possibilities um, and five chances that it's going to be higher and then you would just kind of do the math that way um, and go ahead and say uh, that would be 749 and that would be uh, 1 and uh, you could put another 0 there and 7 goes into 10 once so that would be 71 percent if you wanted to do it that way 71 percent chance okay all right let's move on all right, now the fourth card is number seven. Okay, so now we'll redo our number line. Okay, and go ahead and do that. And we've already crossed out again the three and the four and the 10, and now the 7. Okay, so what are we being asked to do? Okay, what is the probability? Okay, so they're going to want a number of some sort that the next number is lower than 7. Okay, well, let's take a little look-see here. Uh, here's the 7, so there's a chance of 1, 2, 2, and then there's a chance of 1, 2, 3, 4. There are a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There are a total of 6 chances altogether. And they want to know the next number, the probability, probability that the next number is lower than 7. Well, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 um, chances that it's going to, out of the 6 that there are, that it's going to be lower than 7. Um, when you're doing uh, probability, you can leave it um, like this, or you would also just, in a sense, say, well, then that's two out of three. Okay? At this point, uh, you can choose whichever is more comfortable. Uh, usually, often, I should say often, it is reduced, and you'll know that as you get further into your math adventures. Um, but again, we just pretty much use the picture strategy 
and um, looked at this and went, yep, that makes sense. All right. So what is the probability that the next number is lower than 7? And again, the answer would be 4 out of 6 or 2 out of 3. Okay, because 2 thirds equals 4 sixths. All right. Okay, so now we see the fifth card is number 1, so we're going to cross out 1. And let's read what they want us to do. When the sixth card is turned, the probability that the next card is higher is the same as the probability that it's lower. Hmm. All right. Well, let's just prove that. Here's one. Here's one. Here's one. Here's one. Here's one. Okay. So there are five left. Okay. All right. So let's just actually write them. We have two and five and six and eight and nine. Well, hmm. Let's figure this out. We can kind of see that there's six, the number six is in the middle, and then there's two lower and two higher. Okay? So it kind of seems, based on that, that uh, six has to be the one. Six has to be the one because the probability is the same that the next card is either going to be higher as we can see here, or lower. Same chance. Okay? So the way we figured that out is that um, the cards that were left had uh, 6 in the middle. Okay, um, which left two numbers higher and two numbers lower. Make sense? All right, I think we did it. Let's go ahead and see how we did on the rubric. All right, on the first one, did we give the correct answer higher? And the answer is yes, so there we go. Um, and the correct explanation was there are more cards higher than three than lower. All right, uh, did we give on number two the correct answer is zero or impossible? And yes, we did. That was fun. Um, and then basically all the cards are lower than 10, so it's impossible for the next card to be higher, and we said that. Um, on number three, we said that the correct answer was um, five-sevenths or an equivalent, like 71%, and we actually did both of those. I think we deserve more points for that one. And then number four said the correct answer would be four out of six, which is what we said, um, and then it did have the equivalent of 66.6, .6, um, which we actually didn't do, but that's okay. All right. Um, it also shows, you also showed your correct work as 1, 2, 5, and 6 as the four lower numbers. And then on number 5, we did figure out that the number was 6, and we did almost use this exact explanation. Um, the cards that le are left that are 2, 5, 6, 8, and 9, and the middle one is 6, so there's 2 higher and 2 lower. We totally rock it, all 9 points. Wow, we are good. All right. Have a great day. You just gotta love math. It's just fun.